Hello Sharpshooters fans, this is Captain Brandon Deloney bringing you our schedule for the fall 2022 GFL season. In our first matchup of the season in week one, we face the new expansion team, the Bandits. As a team, we have more experience than the Bandits working together and we have more game plan situations, so that puts us at an advantage. The Bandits stars Emmett, who is a tall receiver who scored a lot of touchdowns for the Elites last season. He will have to rely on his rookie quarterback, Carson, to throw him accurately because we will be tightly guarding him. Another star on the Bandits is Cohen, who had a few great games last season for the Thunderhawks. He is definitely a Tiki Bowl caliber player, so we will have to pressure him on defense also. The rest of the Bandits are mostly rookies, so we will have to keep an eye on them before the season begins. I predict we'll come up with a victory due to tightly covering their seasoned veterans on defense exploring the rookie players' inexperience on offense. In week two, we play the Thunderhawks, who are trying to recover after losing their star-free agent Jakari to a suspension of one year. No one is exactly sure who's going to play the quarterback for the Hawks this year, but it'll probably be Owen again, who was their quarterback last year. The star is Jack, who was drafted first overall in this year's draft. He will make good plays right from the start, so we'll definitely have to be careful with him. They also kept Preston, who was hoping to have a bounce back season. I think that the shooters win this one due to a lack of scrambling QB each car. In week three, the shooters match up with the Elite, who had the best offseason in the GFL, completing their rebuild by picking up Logan, the Hotshot's number two quarterback and excellent defender, and also Talon, the great receiver. This duo will definitely score a lot of points for this rebuild Elite's team. To beat the Elites, we'll definitely try to eliminate the pass talent on defense, try to outscore them with smart passes on offense. This will be a fun game to watch, just like last season. After we come back from a bye in week four, we'll, we will need to face our toughest opponent, the Hot Shots. This team has many of the same stars, such as receiver Noah and QB Connor, and newly picked up Callan, but we will be much more equipped to face them this time. We will have all of our starters ready to attack their defense with well-executed passes that find their way through the best defense in the GFL. On defense, we will heavily cover Noah and try our hardest to eliminate the pass to him the whole game. I can confirm that this game will be our most exciting face-off with this team, and we hope to give them a rough time. After the regular season, we have the playoffs, which will have four teams. Our goal this year is to make it to the Tiki Bowl and put on a show for the fans. You can expect a veteran squad of DFL athletes on our team. All members that we started off with last season are returning. And our newest member, Jacob, will also add even more talent to this team. I personally can't wait for the next season in Tiki Bowl 2. Hope to see you there. Peace.